Welcome to the CEO's blog for this week and what a wonderful race meeting we had at Tamora last Saturday night for the TAB Carnival Cups. Jane Walker and her crew certainly put on a, a great show and the crowd really rolled out and it was pleasing to see that, well, we're not post-COVID yet, but we're coming out of COVID, that people are returning to the tracks. The feature race was the BFB, a new earth-moving Tamora Paces Cup which was won by God a Party Doll, trained by Amanda Turnbull and driven by Isabel Ross, which at its previous start won the Parks Cup. God a Party Doll is raced by Jenny Turnbull and Steve Hunt. Shuby do nothing but game. He knuckles down and he gets out after God a Party Doll, but it's got a Party Doll. Get up and dance, get up and jive and put your hands together. She is a freak. God a Party Doll, she's on to bigger and better things. This Sunday, Carnival of Cups action moves to Goulburn for the feature Goulburn Soldiers Club Frank and Edda Day Cup, which has attracted a quality field of 10. Five heats of the Tamworth Golden Guitar will be conducted on Sunday night, leading to that club's Carnival of Cups meeting later in the month. There are nine races on Sunday at Tamworth. New South Wales Horse of the Year nominations are out there for the voting right now. Nominations in all categories are now there for the voting panel of media experts to determine who will take out these titles. The winners of the titles will be revealed on Sky Racing Radio on February 1. A reminder, Harness Racing New South Wales is seeking comment relating to the proposed 2021 New South Wales Breeders' Challenge race conditions, which can be found on the front page of the website by scrolling through the banners. Comments are to be submitted by Monday, January 25. Trainers should also note that the Integrity Division are out there all the time doing stable inspections. In the past week, uh, this hasn't been able to occur because trainers weren't available. So... When you are available, or when you know that the Integrity Division is coming around or calling around, please assist and make yourselves available or someone else who can re represent you. Another reminder also, uh, Club Angle proposed to change the programming and handicapping for the Metropolitan meetings. David Watson will take your call. He'll inform you of what they propose to do and, and also take your comments on board. What I always say, be proactive, not reactive, and contact David now or in the next few days. They intend bringing this in as soon as the Miracle Mile Carnival is over, which is right upon us. So don't hold back, talk to David and get your message across. Milestones this past week were reached by Kerry Ann Morris and Josh Gallagher. Kerry Ann recorded her 1300th winner as a trainer, while Josh hit the 200 mark as a driver. Congratulations to you both. And in the coming weeks, when a milestone is reached, we'll do our very best to record it and acknowledge these people who are high achievers in our wonderful sport. New South Wales is well represented in the Shepherd and Gold Cup this Saturday night. Although a small field, Chris and Anthony Frisby have the Shirley Turnbull Memorial winner, our Uncle Sam, engaged. Our Uncle Sam goes up on the outside. Pay Me Sam is running on. Firestorm Red's behind those. Flashing home is 408. Here's Pay Me Sam out after the leader. It's our Uncle Sam in front. Of our Uncle Sam wins it. Whilst a short price favourite, Lochinvar Art, was bred in and is owned in New South Wales by Kevin Gordon but he may well be the best horse in Australasia. His name is Lachan Varad. He's about to put his fourth group one on the board this year and he is gonna blow them away. This is a superstar, Lachan Varad by 30 metres. Lachan Varad was bred by Peter and Maureen Green, Margaret Morris and Daniel Cordina. Also David Aiken, a multiple Harold Park winner, has almost half the horses in the small field of seven. And we wish everybody all the best in this very important race, which leads into the Miracle Mile Carnival coming up in February, March. Let's take the focus off COVID-19, but not the impact of what it can do to us. We'll leave this to the last piece of the blog each week. And all we are saying is, Follow the protocols. Please follow the protocols. Most importantly, it's compulsory to wear masks in the stabling area. And when I say wear masks, it's not about sharing masks either. That is just not on. So follow the protocols. They're on our website. Make sure we do what we can to keep the coronavirus away from our sport 
as best as possible. As I say always, social distancing, personal hygiene should be part of everyday life. But when you're in and around the stables at race meetings, certainly be observant. That's it for the blog this week. All the best of racing luck for the week ahead. Mark Croato and Jed are looking for you to be at Goulburn on Sunday for the Carnival of Cups meeting. If you can't, Sky will show you all the vision of that great meeting and then continue on into the night for the Tamworth Golden Guitar Heats. As I say, be positive, in harness racing, enjoy the sport you're in and have a wonderful week.